Assalamu alaikum, this is your computer science teacher, Sarfamad Akhtar Nasari, and today we will do the practice of file size calculation of a sound file. So we will calculate the file size of a sound file by thoroughly studying the steps. So let's begin the first question that the following statistics refer to a music track that is recorded on the CD. Music sample is at 44.1 kilohertz. So 41.1 kilohertz is a sample rate and the uh, uh, bit rate is 16 bits. And uh, they have also cleared the instruction about the separate sampling for left and right speaker which is in a stereo mode. So what we have to do, these are the all details and what actually we have to do, we have to find out how many bits are required. So keep in mind that we have got three values. One is the 44.1 kilohertz, then it, next is a bit rate, 16 bits, and the stereo. And uh, we have to convert our answer into the bits. So let's check the solution of it. Now all keep in mind that calculator is not allowed, so all of the tasks you have to perform manually. So let's try solving it. So 44.1 one kilohertz so kilohertz must be converted into the hertz so that is why uh, 44.1 kilohertz multiply by thousand then we will get our answer in the hertz so we have to multiply 44.1 with the thousand in order to get the answer in the hertz so that is how we get this value 44,100 then multiply by 16 bits and stereo means 2. Now we got our answer in the bits. Next thing, achha, uh, this is the answer that we have uh, taken out in the bits. So 44,100 into 16 into 2 and uh, we get this answer. Remember again that calculator is not a lot so we have to done all of the things manually. Now let's go to the next part of the question. We have found out the bits. Now next step is that if our track is 3 min 3 minutes long, if the track is 3 minutes long, how much memory is used? But here we have to give our answer in the bytes. So keep in mind 3 minutes is the length of the track, 3 minutes is the length of the track and we have to find how many uh, memory is consumed and we have to present our memory in the bytes. So the part B is pretty simple like the bits that we solved in the earlier part. So we have to multiply it with the 3 minutes. But keep in mind 3 minutes must be converted into the seconds. So how do we convert our minute into second by multiplying minute into the 60 second. It could be 4 minutes, 5 minutes. So you have to multiply the figure with the 60 second to convert your answer into the seconds. So we are converting, uh, we are multiplying with the 3 minutes and 60 seconds. So we get this answer in the bits, right? Also we can do the same step in this step. But I uh, written it here separately so the students do not get confused. So we converted our, our answer into bits. Now to convert our answer into the bytes, we have to divide this figure by the 8. Why 8? Because there are 8 bits in one byte. There are 8 bits in one byte. That is why we are dividing our answer into the, uh, we are dividing our answer with the 8. To get our answer in the bytes. Right? Now let's go to the question. This is the answer part B. Uh, sorry, second part of the part A. Now third part says that your answer of part 2 that we have converted into the bytes. They are saying that it is now converted to the KB byte which is 3100. It means that we do not have to convert our answer into the KB byte because they have already converted our answer into the KB byte. So they are saying that convert your answer into the MB byte. So they have given us the figure and we just need to convert it to the MB byte. So how do we do it? For the better understanding, I have done the uh, unnecessary step over here, which is not required in the solution. But I have done it just for you that we have to convert the answer into the byte, right? We have done it. Now, if, what if they say that convert your answer into the KB byte, so we divide this value by the 1024. 
So when we divide this value with a thousand twenty four, when we divide this value with a thousand twenty four, then we will get our answer into the KB by. So in the question they have just given us this value, so we do not need to do the division step. But it is just for your understanding that what if in the question they ask that present your answer to the KB by. So this is step we have to follow. And remember, calculate is not allowed. We have to do it everything manually. Now converting this into the mb byte, we will take this value and divide it by the thousand twenty four to get our answer into the mb byte, which is thirty point two eight. I hope it is got uh, it got clear. Now let's jump to the next question, question number two. So uh, the uh, the company uh, company recorded a music for its brand release following other technical details. So sample rate is forty eight point one kilohertz. So we have to multiply this figure with the thousand to get our answer in the hertz. Then we multiply it with the thirty two, and then we multiply it with the two. Two means that there are two channel, left and right channel. So that is why we used to take two because it is in the stereo mode. If it was in the mono, if the mono word is written here M O N O instead of the stereo, if there was a mono word, so we have to multiply it with the one because mono means one. So in this question, they are saying that how many bytes are required. So let's first solve this part A, section one. So in this question, I have done a direct step. Like uh, this is a forty-eight thousand one hundred figure, right? Forty-eight thousand one hundred. If you see the question that it was given forty-eight point one kilohertz. So when we multiply it with the thousand. Then we get the answer forty-eight thousand one hundred. So forty-eight thousand one hundred multiply by thirty-two bits sample rate, and then we multiply the length of the sample, which is two minute uh, long. So we have to convert our sample into the seconds. So two minute and sixty seconds. So we are turning our converting our minute into the seconds, and then we will multiply it with the stereo, which is two. Then we get this our answer in the bits. Now they say that convert your answer into the byte. So divide this figure by the with the eight. Divide this figure with the eight to get your answer in the bytes. I know it is a hefty step and uh, you have to do a lot of effort in uh, manual calculation. But although it is a part of the syllabus, so we have to go through this uh, step. So everything must be done manually. So you just need to go do practice again and again. So when you do practice and again and again, it will become on your fingertips. So whatever the steps you are seeing, you have to do it manually without the calculator. Because I am not going in the detail of the solution, I am just explaining you the answer that how can this question will be solved. So these are just the answer, not the proper solution. So you will uh, divide the bits with the eight to get your answer in the bytes. Now let's go to the next part of the question. Uh, it says that uh, we have to convert our answer into the KB bytes. So how do we convert our answer into the KB bytes? Once you are done with the bytes, you have to again divide this bits uh, bytes into the KB bytes with the thousand twenty four. So you basically, what you are doing, you are dividing your bytes with the one thousand twenty four bytes to get your answer into the KB byte. So 1024 uh, presents the bytes definitely. So you got the answer in the KB bytes. If the question was that convert your answer from KB byte into the MB byte, then you will divide this value with the 1024 to get your answer into the KB byte. If the question was that divide it the uh, divide, convert your answer from MB byte into the KB byte. Then whatever the value you got in the mb byte, you have to divide it again by thousand twenty four to get your answer into the kb byte. So it is a long procedure. I know that it will take a lot of time, but believe me that if you uh, do a good practice and you are just keep practicing again and again, then it will become on your fingertips. Also, it is a part of the syllabus and calculator is not allowed, so that is why we have to do all of the things manually. So I solved two. I show you the answers of the two questions along with the explanation. But I am not going in detail of the question. Like uh, I have done, uh, I have shown you, shown and explained the solution of 
answers of question 1 and question 2 but question 3 and question 4 is your assignment you have to solve at your own and you may take the reference from this video and uh, i hope you understood it but if there is any confusion you may ask me on the facebook or on the whatsapp and inshallah i will reply you asap so i hope you understood the conversion but uh, remember that i also um, we also had a class of the units of measurement and in the units of measurement class i told you how to do the conversion so let's go uh, let's do a overview like uh, let's suppose your answer th these are this is your, is your bits right this is your bits now you have to convert into the bits so uh, you already converted your answer into the bits that suppose these are the bits and if you want to convert your answer into bytes then divide it then you will get your answer into the bytes now if you want to convert uh, let's suppose I am typing a small value it could be any number where x is the any number now you want to uh, present your answer into the kb byte then divide it by 1024 your answer will be in kb byte now if you want to present your answer into the maybe byte then again divided by 1024 then your answer will be in maybe byte then if you want to present your answer into the gb byte then again divide by 1024 to get your answer into the gb byte i know it is a long calculation but we have to do it without the calculator because it is a part of the syllabus so we have to just do practice again and again to get the things on our fingertips but the questions that I shown you, it could be uh, like uh, you will see the similar questions in the workbook or uh, in the past papers if uh, appeared in the earlier syllabus. But this is, these are the steps that how you can convert your bits into the bytes, then KB byte, then MB byte, and then the KB byte. And the juice of the content is, uh, if you see here. Here, like what you are doing basically, you are converting the values, but uh, you know, like you do not need to take a long figure, you may just take 30.20.28. It could be 28567, for example, it could be like this figure. So, it is not, not mandatory that you write the long figure, you may just take two decimals, it's enough for you. So, I hope you understood the concept. And if there is any query, you may ask me on WhatsApp or Facebook, and inshallah, I will respond to you, sir. Thank you so much for attending the class. Love this.